Hey, Megan Scullia, this is the Limerick Post Show and joining me now, it is Kira Kelleher. How are you getting on? Oh, great. Yeah, how are you? So good, thank you. Now, we're going to talk about a very special documentary that you are directing, Movers and Shapers. But first of all, I want to know, how did you get into directing? And I know there's acting in there as well. I got into directing kind of by um, mistake, really, or it, it definitely wasn't on purpose, but I ended up loving it. I was... Um, First off, I was an actor and I went to the Giles Foreman Centre of Acting in Soho in London. And then when I came back, um, around the time kind of coronavirus happened, I decided to study part-time at Bull Street Academy. And a group of us from that were like, well, we put on a project together and we got so many people involved, so many crew, um, yeah, cast as well. And then we had a director, but unfortunately, something happened and I ended up directing it a couple of weeks ago. Very, very stressful. That's actually going to be out in a couple of months as well. But um, it was so rewarding as well. Like it was, it was just an amazing kind of feeling when you saw things coming together. And I loved the shop planning. I loved collaborating with different people. I learned a lot from our cinematographer on that as well, because he had such a high standard and he'd worked on a, a lot of projects. So it was always kind of like you were leveling up in your experience by learning off different people and then with movers and shapers I'm co-directing that with Delana McNamee she and I have been friends for years we were in Limerick Youth Theatre together and Film and Limerick did a call out for documentaries and I had asked my cousin Michael Malidi who was making surfboard shape he was shaping surfboards in his backyard and I was like can I come film you and then the more we discussed that, we were just on a walk around the three bridges in Limerick. Uh, the more we discussed that, we were like, oh, well, we put that idea in and call it Movers and Shapers and talk about the craft of surfboard shaping because it wasn't something a lot of people knew existed. So when my cousin was talking about it, I was very much like, oh, that's really interesting and it's so expensive and it's a labour of love. So both of us applied for um, the engine scheme with Home and Limerick and Sheffield Dockfest and we ended up being shortlisted and getting training for a couple of months and really honing in on what we wanted to do with the project and then unfortunately we didn't get the funding but we decided to make it anyway um and it that was great as well it's such a new experience co-directing because I feel like Alana and I really complement each other's strengths um or in some cases you know something I'm not great at she'll pick up on and likewise so that's kind of actually that's a whole biography of everything <laughs> that's how I got into directing I absolutely love it and I have to say when I read the press release you sent me and it was like a new female-led documentary and um about surfboard shaping and I actually didn't even know about surfboard shaping until I I read the piece that you sent me and I know you mentioned Michael there of course he is part of Lost Boys who are no strangers to the Limer Post Show um but what like did you find when you started making the documentary? Because as we all know, um, like La Hinch is obviously hugely popular with a lot of people for surfing. I think we've all gone out there at some stage. I know I've tried to get on a surfboard a few times. Can't class myself as a surfer. But what, what like were the kind of maybe findings as you started getting more into it? Yeah, so around at some point we decided that we would make it about sustainable surfboard shaping, because when we looked more into the process, we realized how toxic um, surfboard shaping can be for the environment. And it actually was perfect because Michael at the time was, he's trying to make one out of um, wine corks. Wow. So I was like, that's, that's really interesting. So we started doing kind of a call out for surfboard shapers all over Ireland and started calling people, um, figuring out maybe a contrast of who would fit and who would like to do a kind of a thing. Um, filming wise, we had some small issues around water videography because there's loads of things that water videography wouldn't think would be an issue, like um, the murkiness of the water. You might be able to do it under certain conditions. Um, yeah, like overcast days aren't great. So we ended up using this guy um, who was also in the engine scheme and he went out and filmed it separately under a brief. So that was another thing that kind of came up as we were filming um yeah so they were kind of two main I suppose discoveries and um because we knew after the engine scheme kind of what tone and style we were going for and what we really wanted but mainly it was a feeling that we wanted when you watched it we drew a lot of inspiration from the RT series hands which is very um tactile close-ups of the hands making stuff it's um yeah it really evokes a feeling and it's all about crafts 
whereas ours is actually a bit more emotional as well because we say we talk to Ollie O'Flaherty who um, speaks a little bit about how he loves passing it on to the next generation. He is a big wave surfer and a championship surfer. He runs Ollie Surf Academy in La Hinch and he surfs on sustainable boards. So he really kind of legitimized it for us as well. And he was also someone we found through the process because I went on a surfing lesson with my aunt and he was the instructor. And I was like, oh, do you ever buy sustainable surfboards? And that's how we kind of got to chatting. So then he ended up being one of our interviewees. Alana, we've heard now all about movers and shapers, um, but what stage of production is that right now? So we're in post-production at the moment. So we're working with our editor, David Ryan, and just to get kind of get it looking good, get all the pictures together. And yeah, so that, that's the stage that we're at now with him. Um, we're also chatting through maybe getting a composer. We're really keen to get someone local from here in Limerick or in the Midwest on board. Um, because obviously the music is going to be really evocative and really bring out the best parts of the doc. Yeah, because Kira mentioned right that it, you know, there is quite emotional scenes that about um Ollie is very much so part of it. When she mentioned Ollie, I was like, I feel like anyone that's been to Lynch, everyone knows Ollie, Ollie and Ollie Surf School, because it I guess it's such a it's such a real, it's part of the the prom now in some ways. And you know, I think we we've all we all seen him and know of him. So um and as well, she mentioned about the sustainable boards. I didn't even realize the sustainability came into it with surfboards. I thought that was absolutely fascinating. Oh my God. You know what? We spoke to a man called Philippe. I don't know if Kira mentioned him yet, but he is Philippe Hetier. So he's a bespoke furniture maker in Clonmel who's making sustainable boards. And it was, we were talking to him and he said, everything we use as surfers is made out of petrol. And that just completely I thought was so surprising because and he did point it out he was like our wetsuits our booties our boards considering that they spend so much time in the water and in nature and get so much out of it surfers I mean it's amazing that that they they're using products that are so damaging to the environment that they're enjoying so much and getting so much out of I actually didn't even know any of that this is all news to me as well like absolutely incredible as you mentioned because I feel like a lot of people I know who are surfers are very much so environmentally conscious and they're always like sharing videos from the ocean showing all the plastics and rubbish that are being thrown in so I think this is another fascinating aspect but I know as well as you mentioned a lot of surfers are looking for sustainable boards and sustainable ways of, of being on the water. Kira, when um, can we expect to see movers and shapers or what is the plan when it's ready to go? Yeah it's set for spring release our plan is um, to really finish it within the next month and have every draft done but then we're going to enter film festivals as well um so yeah depending on the different festivals hopefully if you like to go to film festivals you will see it at that and then afterwards we're going to do a screening um as well those details though are definitely still to be decided but our instagram is at movers and shapers doc if you want to keep up with all of the latest um of what's going on we'll def i'll be announcing everything on that definitely as things kind of come up um and the support would mean the world to us definitely yeah we've spent so much time on this and we're both really passionate about it um yeah so i will put that information on that instagram page as well in the information box below so people can follow and keep up to date i think it sounds absolutely incredible documentary is movers and shapers directed by limerick's kira keller and alana mcnamee and as i said a female-led documentary which is what i love to hear and see and i've no doubt that uh, we'll be seeing so much more from you ladies so from us all at the limerick post show thank you so much Thank you for having us. Thank you.